Hi, this is Sohini at Double Lab, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about how to host a Discord bot. So the code that you see right now, this is the bot that we created the other day. So this bot is amazing when you try to get into our Double Lab server, and when you go and poke our intro bot with your name, it's going to come up with their favorite color so you can see some of the results in this um from beforehand so these are the people who were there in my live stream in the previous week and we did this together as a joint um, programming so in this video i'm going to be talking about how to host it if you haven't yet had a glimpse of how this works i highly recommend you go ahead and try out this through our live stream video so that's number one number two is let's learn how to host it so if you have a replit hacker account and when you go on and hit on this you'll find the always on utility so this is an amazing utility and you'll get this opportunity only if you have a hacker account and this will be useful only for five repls not more than that so make sure that you use that wisely now what if you don't have a hacker account so there is something called the express server that can be used as a great framework uh, provided by node so we'll use that and we'll host it in uptime bot so the first thing that i'm going to do is talk about the express framework so let's go to npmjs.org and let's search for express in here you'll be able to see the code for express okay so now what i'm gonna do is gently copy this because it's gonna take a long time to write all of these from scratch so i'm gonna get back and copy this part in here along with this i'm gonna also copy this part with this and paste it in here this will be a good place to paste it are just in here huh. okay so in here i'm gonna be making a couple of changes so that this works properly i'm gonna remove this and let's keep this the same let's keep it short and simple add this arrow pointers and put this up so this is the message that's going to pop up in our server and in here i will log it as console.log i'm going to do simple message that example server for intro Perfect. Now let's turn it on. So it's going to install the Express server in our package.json. And there you see. So this is going to be useful. So we're hosting it in here and then we'll push this to the uptime bot where this is going to be running forever. So there we're going to go create an account. And we're gonna register this website and we'll keep a monitor that's gonna be staying for long long hours and it'll be updating every five minutes so how to do that so when we go to um, uptimerobot.com in here I already have an account so I'm gonna be going and logging in you can register for free and once you do that I'm gonna hit on add new monitor Okay, so now I'm going to select the type of monitor. It's going to be HTTP. It's going to be, let's say, the color bot. And here we have to copy this totally and paste this totally in here. 
and this is gonna be like you can turn it uh, you can upgrade it if you want it to monitor like in every one second but I'm gonna keep every five minutes because that's for the free version and then I will hit on this so that I get alerts and then I'm gonna create this monitor okay so this monitor is created and now I can close it you can see Clarbot in here perfect so now what's gonna happen even if I just put this off so my REPL is closed now and if I go to my discord intro bot and type in my name type in the name of our friends who were there in the previous stream we can see their favorite colors popping up so this is happening when my REPL is closed and this is my uptime bot that's working so I'm gonna refresh this and I'm sure it's gonna come up in the next five minutes. So that's how this works. So I think today we learned how you can host a Discord bot using the always on utility in Replit, which is theirs. But of course you need to have a hacker account. And the second one is through Express Server, which is free to use and it's a node framework for hosting. Um, server and you can use uptime robot to do the monitoring stuff so that's all that i wanted to share today in this video in the upcoming videos we're going to talk about more cool stuff so stay tuned to learn more hacks and learn more cool kiki stuff that you can do in minutes and that can easily up your life if you really love this video do not forget to hit a like share and subscribe thanks so much for watching 拜拜